So, when uh, people think of tacos, they always think of, you know, steak tacos or shrimp tacos or chicken tacos. You know, the, the boring stuff. The average stuff, everyone knows and has had one of these tacos. But one thing that a lot of people haven't had that we're going to try today is... Lobster taco. The reason I'm doing this today is because mini season just happened in Florida. It's pretty much a you know, pre-season for lobstering. It's two days and I was able to catch some of these. We're gonna use them today and you know make some delicious lobster tacos. So the one question I have for you guys, who's hungry? So to start off the lobster tacos, the first thing you gotta do is break down this lobster. So this lobster that I caught, um, it's a little over seven pounds. It's a really big lobster and it's called a Florida spiny lobster if anyone's interested. First break this down, there's two parts to the lobster. You have the head section and you have the tail section. But the lobster can be used in many ways. So you have meat in the antennas here, which we call the knuckles. And you also have meat because it's a big lobster in the legs. Today we're solely gonna use the tail section. Um, and then in a later video, we're gonna use the head and the knuckles. So first to remove the tail from the lobster, you're gonna first get your knife and you're gonna wanna put it all the way up as far as you can into the head and twist around to get as much meat as possible. And you flip and do the same thing with the back side. Put your knife all the way around. So you're pretty much making a full circle around the lobster. The way you do is grab firmly on the head and you twist and the whole tail shook him off. This will be saved for a later video when we're making lobster bits. So what we want to do is take the meat out of the shell of the lobster. So we're first going to cut it in half. So this part's a little dangerous, so be careful. What you want to do is stick the brunt or the tip of your knife down the middle of the lobster and kind of push down. And once you've made it through the shell, push down, splitting the tail in half. So once you got the, the lobster split in half, you're gonna to wanna to remove the meat out of it. So what you're, what you're gonna, ah, this thing is slimy, man, this officer's slimy. So what you're going to want to do is get your fork and put it at the very base of the first half of the lobster tail and you pry the meat up. It should slowly release from the tail. Once you do that, you pull up, and you should have something that kind of looks like that hanging away from the actual shell of the lobster. Once you have that going, you can slowly just grab the meat and pull away from the shell. Oh, there we go. Once you have your two D shell lobsters out, grab a small metal bowl so you can put everything in and keep it in the fridge till we're about to cook them later. And before you put them in the bowl, cut them to you know bite-sized pieces that would fit in a taco. So once you put your lobster uh, that you cut up in the fridge, we're gonna move on to the second part. The second thing we're gonna make is called an avocado creme. Um, there's a lot of different ways to make it. The way I make it is first you have avocado, some sour cream, some garlic, um, and I'm putting a jalapeno in it to give it a little kick because um, I like my, my creme a little spicy. This kind of takes the place of a sour cream that you're gonna put on a taco, um, and it kind of takes the place of guacamole. Again, all of the ingredients and the amount I use are gonna be right here. First, you're gonna start out with some sour cream. Second, you're gonna get the meat out of one avocado. Third, you're gonna get a half, I don't know what to call this, a bundle maybe, of cilantro. You're gonna get half of a jalapeno with the seeds in. And this is optional if you guys wanna do this. I'm going to score my jalapeno. That wasn't the best idea to do that. I'm gonna have to sand that off or something. Then you get about four cloves of garlic, the juice of half a lemon, juicy, some salt, some pepper, and a sprinkle of cumin. 
And so it'll actually mix, add some oil to kind of give it some liquid in there. And I should really invest in a bigger food processor here. So after all mixed up, you know, just empty your whole container of nicely made avocado creme into a bowl of some sort and put it in the fridge until you're about to serve your tacos. All right, the next step we're gonna do to uh, make the tacos, um, we're gonna make some seasoned chili oil. Um, it's pretty simplistic. All it is is, you know, some canola oil, some ancho chilies, some guajillo chilies, some oregano, some normal pepper, garlic powder. Um, you kind of just fry that up a little bit to give a nice oil to dip your tortilla in before you put it as a taco. So what we have here is a guajillo chili and we have an ancho chili. So what you're first gonna do is kind of chop these up into little pieces, remove the stems and remove as many as the seeds you can. Um, and then we're gonna boil them to kind of get them softened up before frying them in oil. So once you've de-seeded or the best of your capabilities, took the seeds out of the chilies, kind of chop them up in little pieces. So what you're gonna do now is kind of place some water in here. It doesn't matter how much water, the whole purpose of this is just to soften the chilies up so they release that you know, flavor into the oil when you fry them later. So once your pot has came to a boil, remove the lid and kind of just dump your chilies in the pot to soften up for around five minutes or so. So once the chilies have, you know, became soft within the boiling water, remove the lid again and just strain them with a spider or something in the sink. Yeah, hot. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is get one saucepan and fill it with around one cup of canola oil. Today we're going with the uh, good old great value. We are kind of cheapening it out here. Go ahead and bring that oil to a frying temperature, usually around 325 to 350. While that oil is coming to temperature, get some paper napkins and pat down the chilies that you just boiled to try to get as much moisture out of them as possible so it doesn't pop or crackle or make oil go everywhere when you drop them in the hot oil. Cause again, water and oil don't go together once the oil is hot. Once the oil comes to temperature, get your chilies and slowly add them into your oil. And this will most likely splatter once you put it in because you're still gonna have some residual water on the chilies. And ever so often, kind of lift the top up and stir them to kind of check on them. After around five minutes, lower the heat a little bit, and you're gonna add the following ingredients. You're gonna add some paprika, oregano, some garlic powder, and some black pepper to finish off the oil that you're gonna use. Oregano, garlic powder, paprika, black pepper and mix it. After one or two minutes of you adding those ingredients, cut the heat and let it rest. After five minutes letting it rest, get your oil and strain it into another bowl. All right, so while the oil is cooling, we're gonna kind of prepare our toppings. What we're gonna top it with is Monterey Jack cheese, some jalapenos if you guys really want some extra heat, white onion, and some cilantro. Always grate your own cheese because once you get the pre-grated cheese, it has like some coating on it and it just doesn't taste as good. And it's kind of fun to grate your own cheese, so do it. Roughly a cup of cheese should be fine for the tacos we're making today. Second thing we're gonna do is chop some white onion. Next, we're gonna finally chop some cilantro. And for some more kick if you want it, we're gonna finally chop some jalapeno pepper. So once you cut all of your toppings for your tacos, then we'll move on to actually cooking the lobster. Then turn 
stove top on and proceed to put one stick of butter inside, depending on how much lobster you're using. I'm roughly using around two pounds of lobster um, from that huge seven pound lobster that I did catch. First, proceed to put one stick of whole butter in your heated pan and let it whisk around here. Once the majority of the butter has melted, turn down the heat and proceed to dump all your lobster in there and let it cook. And to prevent sticking, mix it around a little bit. To season your lobster, we're gonna use a couple of ingredients here. Again, it'll be right here what I'm gonna be using. First, we're gonna use five cloves or four large cloves of crushed garlic through a mince. Ground pepper, some salt, and my favorite ingredient, which is chipotle powder. So you wanna keep stirring this lobster until it turns pretty much a white color. And it should be around five to seven minutes to cook this in the butter. And once it's pretty much all cooked through, you're gonna to wanna to take it off the heat and remember to save this butter because we're gonna need it later. And all this liquid right here is what you're gonna to wanna to save for later. So once you've cleaned your lobster, made your avocado creme, made the oil, chopped the toppings, it's time to put the taco together. Um, so today I'm just using some generic corn tortilla tacos. Um, you can choose to make them if you want to. I'm not doing that today because there's a lot going on in this video. Yellow corn is a lot better than white corn in my opinion. They toast a little better and give a little better for a crunch. So this is kind of what you're looking at for the ingredients you need to put your taco together. The chili oil we put in this, as you see, it gives off that reddish tint that has some flavor that it gave the canola oil. We have your cheese, your avocado creme, the butter I told you to save from the pot, some limes, cilantro, jalapeno, white onion, the lobster you cooked, and the tortillas that you got from the store or that you made your choice. To start, use a cast iron skillet. I recommend it. It cooks the tortillas better. It gives it that nice crunch. Turn it up to absolute ripping hot heat. Add some of the oil that you first made and coat the pan. So once the pan is ripping hot, prepare to put one tortilla on top of the oil and let it fry. Then proceed to put some lobster in the middle. Proceed to buy some cheese, white onion, cilantro, some jalapeno. The oil is slowly going to harden the outside of the taco, which will allow you to kind of bring the whole entire thing in together like this. Plate it and the taco should stay in that shape right there. So once you've taken the tacos off of the cast iron skillet, then proceed with the other toppings that you haven't used. First, use the avocado creme that you made earlier and top it accordingly. The butter that I told you guys to save, get a spoonful, top it on top of each taco. Grab one lime, put as much lime juice as you feel necessary for each taco, and that is what you end up with. So these tacos have been sitting for a little bit. Just test the uh, crispiness. You, you still hear the crisp a little bit. You know, let's give it a try here. So the first thing's gonna hit you, of course, the crunch. The crunch is gonna hit you, followed by the you know the fresh lobster that you used. You know and then a rush of butter that kind of goes in your mouth. Then kind of the, the heat starts kicking in, you know, the heat from the, the oil that you put on the tortilla that soaked it all up, and then followed by a little bit of the heat from the avocado cream that kind of soothes your mouth and kind of lowers the heat a little bit towards the end. It's honestly a fantastic taco. It is a little oily, but it tastes fantastic. You know, it, it does take a little bit of time to make, but it's honestly phenomenal. It's probably one of the best tacos I've ever made. It's definitely the, my favorite taco out of all the tacos that I do make. Um, I really can't, Think of anything better to use if you want some less heat don't use as many jalapenos but it's honestly fantastic i recommend everyone to try this and go out there and stay hungry everyone cheers